Welcome to Frequency Matters, the RF microwave update series. I'm Pat Hindle, and I'm here with my co-host, Eric Heim. This episode, we're going to continue our coverage of the November 5G, 6G, and IoT issue. As mentioned in last episode, we're connecting the print magazine to the digital world with a special focus section on 5G. The section has a separate cover and table of contents within the issue, and we carve it out as a PDF download for our online readers. Advertisers get the benefit of lead generation, and our readers get a downloadable PDF ebook that's dedicated to the 5G topic. This is now a, on our homepage, so you can download it. And as a reminder, the cover story is in the issue is Next Generation Terabit Wireless Communications Advances Beyond 6G, and it's written by authors from Builders Engineering College and National Institute of Technology in India. And this article covers some of the possible technologies for 6G and beyond, so it's a great thing to take a look at for future technologies. Eric, what do we have for our tech briefs? Thanks, Pat. Uh, we had an interesting feature from EtherTech in Taiwan. Uh, they developed an FR2 automated test chamber that they're offering as a one-stop service package. And the package includes the shielding chamber with anechoic material and a turntable, test software, worn antennas, and up and down converters. Uh, so they're looking to increase the efficiency and precision of millimeter wave test solutions with this bundled service. And uh, way back in the day, Marquee Microwave was known for their mixers, and they still do those, uh, but they've expanded their product offering substantially. And we've got a good tech brief from them announcing a 2 to 40 gigahertz Hello Driver amplifier that aims at multi-channel applications. Uh, so take a look at that. They get some pretty good performance out of that. Yeah, and so we had one product feature, and that was an E-band amplifier that supports 256 qualm with six watts of saturated output power from Filtronic. And so we had a special guest join us today, Kevin Moyer, product manager at Times Microwave Systems. He joined me to discuss RF cables and military ground vehicles. Let's take a look at a clip from that now. And so what are some of the challenges for using RF cables in these military ground vehicles and applications? Well, I'd have to say it's uh, ruggedization, ruggedization, and ruggedization. You know, just uh, like that old real estate uh, saying. It's, it's, uh, and, and, and there's, there's lots of things to ruggedize for. I mean, concerns are for things like uh, crushing of the cable, kinking of the cable, extreme cold, extreme heat, UV resistance, abrasion resistance, uh, moisture ingress, survivability for like caustic, hot caustic washdowns. In the case of these vehicles that they had to go through, say, a, a biological event or something, they have to be washed down with some, you know, pretty harsh chemicals and they have to survive that. Uh, corrosion resistance is a concern. Uh, exceeding the minimum bend radius of the cable is always a concern. Performance reflector is, is a big one. You know, most in most cases, RF cables, you know, they're installed and they're static in place for the, for the life of their application, you know. But in ground-based uh, military vehicles, that's just not the case. Sometimes, you know, things are being set up very quickly or ripped down very quickly. Uh, cables sometimes are being coiled, uncoiled. You know, a lot of things are, are, are moving around. Uh, so uh, that's that's really important. And I, and I don't know if I mentioned, but connector retention, that's a big one. You know, a cable assembly, our interconnect is only as good as its weakest link. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of times, you know, where that connector is attached to the cable. It's, it's really, really important. So, you know, lots of different things to ruggedize. In some some applications, you're looking to, you know, prioritize, you know, some of those characteristics above others. But uh, ruggedization is, is by far the the, uh, the challenge in this in this market. It was very interesting talking to Kevin about RF cables and military ground vehicles. It's all about ruggedization. Turning to the news, Lockheed Martin is one step away from showcasing its 5G.mil capability that can reach all domains around the world. During this October demonstration, Lockheed Martin showcased the industry's first fully regenerative advanced 5G non-terrestrial network satellite base station developed as the space component of the company's 5G.mil unified network solutions program. In the live hardware in the loop lab environment, the advanced 5G NTN satellite base station performed high-speed data transfers connecting with a prototype NTN user equipment and is compliant with 3GPP Release 17. 
During the simulated satellite orbital pass, the satellite base station running on space-hardened flight hardware and the user equipment on the ground, they successfully connected and transferred data, including live video streaming. And also in the news, the Office of Naval Research has awarded BAE Systems Fast Labs Research and Development Organization a $5 million contract for the Common Architecture Amplifier for Low-Cost, Efficient, Swap-Constrained Environments program. In an effort, the BAE Systems Fast Labs will develop advanced GAN-based mimic and module electronics. The program's objective is to develop the highest efficiency high-power amplifier module and its frequency band, and the RF modules will then transition to a small form factor for new U.S. Navy payloads and will enable longer range and greater effectiveness in active electronic warfare applications. Eric, what did you see in the news? Well, Earl Lumet EJL Wireless released his global macro cell radio unit active antenna unit market analysis and forecast report. Uh, and a big takeaway from that is that weakening demand from China is offsetting strong growth in India. And while massive MIMO is growing quickly, that growth is not offsetting declines in other radio units. Uh, so Oral's conclusion is shipments of radio units and active antenna units declined by 7% in 2022, and they'll decline another 13% this year. Uh, so that bears watching. And uh, then in another news story, ID TechX tries to separate hype from reality in quantum sensors and computing. Uh, they've recently released reports on both topics, and the news release gets into a lot of detail on applications, funding, and expected market sizes. Uh, so even though their press release contains a wealth of information about those topics, uh, it's worth a read. And uh, turning to events, I wanted to note that Comcast has been rescheduled for July next year, as it was supposed to take place in Tel Aviv in November. So hopefully things will be resolved well before then. And my next event will be DesignCon in Santa Clara at the end of January. So this is the premier event for signal and power integrity. So be taking a look at that for our signal integrity journal. Uh, Eric, I think you're uh, heading to AOC next. So what do you have lined up so far? I am. And uh, yeah, I've started lining up sessions with regular contributors like ADI, Menlo Micro, and Wireless Telecom Group. Uh, I'll be interested in seeing what they're doing along with all the other exhibitors and uh, reach out to me if you'd like to chat. Uh, I'm also interested in the tone of the conference. The sessions look to be heavily involved in themes of joint command and control and open systems architecture, and I see terms like cognitive and AI sprinkled around, so it'll be interesting to see how the exhibitors and attendees are supporting those ideas. And uh, just a reminder, EDICon Online just finished, but you can watch it all on demand for the next six months. Go to edicononline.com and see what you missed. And that wraps up this episode. Our sponsors are RFMW and Times Microwave Systems. RFMW is a technical distributor of RF and microwave products and now power management products. When you start your next design, consider their multiple product lines. Times Microwave Systems, a member of the Amphenol North America Military Group, and a division of Amphenol Harsh Environment Solutions is a pioneering brand of innovative RF and microwave interconnect assemblies, cables, and connector designs. And remember, as a member of the industry, a subscription to Microwave Journal is free, so please visit our site and subscribe today if you aren't already a reader. Thanks for watching us, and please join us next time for another Frequency Matters.